left. What's going on guys, Metaver here with Lethal Garage and today I am bringing you a new video from my GoPro 7 Hero, was it GoPro Hero 7 Black? I, whatever, new GoPro. Uh, as you guys know, I've recorded every single video to date just about with a Hero Silver 4. I was really excited about the 7, the 5 not so much, the 6 they fixed some issues, the 7 they basically say there's this hyper motion technology that makes it so you don't need a gimbal. So what I'm gonna do is instead of just making this a video about the camera, let's make this a video about what the camera's capturing, do a walk around, talk about the car, and do a comparison with my Hero Silver 4 and the Hero 7 Black. Yeah, so as this opening, I'm recording with the Hero 7 Black, so we'll see how stable it is. Uh, but yeah, let's go do a walk around of the car and see the difference between the two cameras and if it makes the car look any better. It already looks pretty good, I think. Let's do it. Do a walk around. We'll see how stable this is. But we'll also talk about the car. 2016 Camaro 2SS, fully loaded monster. Uh, done quite a bit of work to it. Supercharged, forged, suspension, wheels, fuel system. Making 800 wheel horsepower currently. And I will state that this video is in linear format instead of the wide mode. We'll try that out next. Now let's go to wide mode. So same walk around and wide lens or wide mode for the GoPro. And yes, I'm wearing my flip flops right now because I want to see how much volume the camera picks up. Pretty good. Now let's try the Hero 4 Silver. My tried and true GoPro camera. Now keep in mind, I utilize this camera with a gimbal. I'm gonna walk around the car without a gimbal because I really wanna check out the hypermotion which makes it to where you almost don't need a gimbal. The next step will be to actually see how the footage on the Hero 7 is on a gimbal. But this is the Hero 4 Silver in wide. And I am holding the camera the exact same way I was holding the 7, one-handed. Now, let's check out linear mode. Sorry, I said linear mode, but in reality I wanted to try medium. So here's medium. Now let's really put the audio to the test. Let's do a semi-cold start. I mean, I only started the car to get it out of the garage, so. There you go. Now let's try the Hero 4 Silver.
So I'll let you guys be the judge of the sound test. Let me know down in the comments below. But really, the only thing that's truly left, let's see what kind of cinematic shots the Hero 7 Black can actually muster up. So let's get up at close and personal with the Lethal Camaro. GoPro Hero 5 is when I would drive around it focused on my exhaust and not my voice now I don't know the outcome of this I'm literally recording this live so I don't know if that's gonna happen again or not but we'll certainly find out and you guys will be the first to know because uh, I'm not hiding anything here I just got the camera I paid for it and I just I want it to be better with the hyper motion and everything so I have the Hero 7 black hooked up to my GoPro suction cup mount has a couple extensions on it to hold it uh, to get the picture of me here uh, hopefully I'm not the camera is not too high or too low but it is what it is so now it's let's drive around and see how the audio is see how it picks up the car see how it picks up my voice all that stuff so let's see what happens said I've been running the Hero Silver 4 for a long time so that's what three generations behind for the most part uh, I've been looking for a new camera that's got better motion stability um, all my videos previously were captured in 1080 60 frames a second this is now 1440 with hyper motion at 60 frames I could go higher um, but I don't want to deal with the massive files for editing uh, maybe I can for some special videos or something like that. Maybe when I go to SEMA and check out some higher quality cars, uh, maybe that can come into play. But really, the, the idea here, and there is a lot of traffic, but I'm just going to make a U-turn and avoid it all. Converter life, right there. Locks in third. <laughs> Everybody always asks me, what would you not do to your car? Yeah, I would not put the converter in. Now, obviously, the car wouldn't launch as hard if I didn't have a converter, but if I can do it all over again, I would avoid the converter. And I can easily swap the converter out now, um, but I'm just, yeah, no, race car life. Got I still got to dial this in, still got to figure out how to drive, you know. It's all a giant learning experience. Maybe we can uh, take the camera and go check out someone else's ride. And uh, we can drive over there and see if they're home. And I can't really push the car too hard because I'm at low fuel action. I seem to always be at low fuel. When I say low fuel, I'm at uh, a quarter of a tank right now. So mm. maybe we can get one pull up here. Maybe. Maybe. got on the gas and went up to an unspecified speed on the streets of Temecula. Now we're at the Bowtie Bridges house with this beautiful first gen 1LE. 
<laughs> he hates it when we say that. Just so you guys know, there's never been a first gen 1LE, FYI. But I wanted to see some different colors. Orangey. So much better. So if you guys need a motor built, cam installed, anything else, see that guy. Sweet orange car, let's go back to Lethal Grudge. Well, there you have it. That is the GoPro Hero Black. That's walking around, that's driving, that's audio. That's about everything I can think of that I use for recording car videos. So I have no idea how this footage is gonna turn out until I edit it together. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this camera capable of being a good auto vlogger or auto channel like mine camera? That's really the question. Um, does this thing hold up and will it last so Here we see the quality. I mean the we all know GoPro seem to last very decently I haven't had any issues with any of my hero fours or my five either know if the audio kind of sucked on that one But that's that so thanks for checking out this video. Let me guys let me know if you have any comments questions concerns down below um, Outside of that that's that's all I got. That's all I got so until next time guys I do hope to see you on the road